It's great being here with you guys again. Yeah, Rod. These are the times we're gonna remember. I can't think of anything better than being here with you guys. To friends. Friends! friends. <laughs> I'll tell you what, guys. I love you all. And if any of you guys were ever killed, I'd avenge all of you. Would you slay our respective killers? Yes, I would slay your respective killers. I'm all of you except for yours, Barbara. What? What's wrong with me? Why wouldn't you kill my killer? Don't you love us all? I do love you, Barb, but the love I have for you is a different kind of love. The love I have for you ends with your violent death. <laughs> oh, come on, Jack. We all know you better than that. Why don't you tell us the real reason you wouldn't avenge her? Well, for Christ's sake, she's a philanthropist. That's a waste. That's disgusting. Now, a uh, philanthropist is someone who gives freely of themselves to the benefit of others. I know that. It's disgusting. <laughs> why, why would my altruistic attitude in life elicit such a poor response from you? I mean, I would think the fact that I am so giving would cause others to want to run my killers out even more. Oh, come on, Jack. We know why you wouldn't avenge her. It's because you're a misogynist. <laughs> That's a pure waste of life. Well, at least you know what a misogynist is. It's disgusting. <laughs> Just because I'm a misogynist doesn't mean that I couldn't have made this decision on an immoral basis. That is still a reason to exclude me from your vengeful rampage. Regardless of that, Rod, I'm not sure if anyone with your taste can go passing judgment on old Jack here. I agree, Jim. Rod, your opinions hold very little water with me. Oh, yeah? And why is that, Tony? Well, you are a Francophile. <laughs> what a senseless way to live. <laughs> uh, a Francophile is someone with a fetish for the French. Yeah. I know. It's disgusting. <laughs> what? Just because I have a penchant for French literature and history, that doesn't make my opinions any less valid. Well, it doesn't help much. You fucking Franco freaks are all the same. <laughs> I mean, I gotta admit, uh, anyone who holds bread and pastry on the same level as music and art is really not on the level. Right, Jim. Like, I'm gonna take criticism from a pedophile. Alleged pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> what? Dude, a pedophile is someone who has sex with children. Alleged. <laughs> <laughs> I know that. Don't you find that the least bit disgusting? Let me tell you something, Barbara. I admire his stance on a view that uh, today's society finds future alleged stance. <laughs> well, it's a, it's a stark contrast to, to the rest of the views of today's society. <coughs> because it takes a strong man to put up with all the criticism and everything that Everybody gives him for being who he is in today's world. Waitress, no more drinks for Al. He's forgotten he's a misanthrope. 